This is a test of the 35 kilogram centimeter servo adapted to use for a quadrupedal robot. It was a test. So I've attached, I've 3D printed and attached a about five centimeter lever right there. As you can see, it's showing about 50 millimeters or five centimeters. And we will do a torque test and also watch for the stall current. So we're going to find, figure out the stall torque and the stall current for this motor. Um, it's rated to have a stall torque of around 35 kilogram centimeters or about uh, 3.43 Newton meters. So let's go ahead and do a test. So I'm going to turn it on and it's going to move counterclockwise, I believe, if I set it to that. And we'll go ahead and turn on our scale to measure. wait until it locks in a there we go that is test one we'll go ahead and do a second test And we'll do a third test as well. All right, I will now be conducting a speed test for the 35 kilogram centimeter servo here, a uh, coilless servo. And I will be measuring the velocity and I will also be measuring the no load uh, torque, or sorry, no load current of the servo. All right, so um, I have it all hooked up. And of course it has a absolute encoder there, so we'll be able to calculate and measure the speed and it will uh, display it on the Arduino once it's done running. So it's going to uh, revolve five rotations um, clockwise, and we'll do three tests, two clockwise and two, one counterclockwise, and we'll see what we get. All right. So it looks like about 25 and this is the speed that we get the last column is speed so it looks like we're getting about 72.4 rpm yep that's test one let's do another test clockwise and we'll do another one counterclockwise Right, we're getting about 72.7 RPM. And then now let's do one counterclockwise. So I'll just put an extra C there. Let's upload the sketch. And we're getting about the same 72-ish RPM. And of course, it's going to be negative now since it's moving counterclockwise. And that is the speed test.